Google recently announced its most powerful AI model yet, beating GPT-4 in almost every task. But that's not the end. It even beats human experts. However, some of the things Google showed us in the Gemini demo are not entirely true. So before we dive further into the video, make sure to show some love by clicking the like button and subscribe to the channel for more AI content. First things first, let me introduce both AI models. Google Gemini is a multimodal AI model designed from the ground up to understand and process not only text, but also images, videos, and audio. ChatGPT4, on the other hand, is primarily focused on text. Some people might say GPT-4 also supports images and has vision, which is actually true, but it's important to remember that when GPT was first launched, it was text alone. Later, they added Dell E3 Vision and many more and combined them into one. The fact that Google Gemini is multimodal from the ground up is what makes it a game changer. Let's see what multimodal is. Multimodal models are created by stitching together text-only, vision-only, and audio-only models in a suboptimal way at a secondary stage. Gemini is the multimodal from the ground up, so it can seamlessly have a conversation across modalities and give you the best possible response. Now let's look at the scorer, where Gemini Ultra achieved 90%, beating GPT 4 by 4%, but that is not the end. As I said earlier, it even beat human experts, becoming the first AI model to surpass humans. But if you look under these two numbers, on MMLU benchmarks are two different things. Google Gemini used the chain of thought prompting technique, whereas GPT-4 used the five-shot prompting technique. Because COD stands for chain of thought, and 32 means it goes through 32 reasoning steps before choosing an answer. Whereas in five-shot methodology, the model is given five examples of a particular task before being asked to perform it itself. This is called a few-shot learning technique, and it helps assess how quickly and effectively GPT-4 can learn and adapt to new challenges. And that is something you guys should be aware of. But other than that, it just beats GPT-4 in almost every benchmark. So you could say it's a better model than GPT-4. The fact that Google Gemini captivated so many people was because what they showed us in its demo was incredibly outstanding. Let's look at the example. I know what you're doing. You're playing rock, paper, scissors. What do you see now? The fingers are spread out to look like the wings of a butterfly. What's this? Big ear and barking mouth, a dog. Sweet. That's how it looks on the outside, as if the interaction is happening in real time. But what they actually did was multimodal prompting, combining both text and images, so that the AI could come up with a better answer. For example, in the demo, you can see that the AI recognizes the rock, paper, scissors game, which is really cool, but in reality, they gave the AI a hint that it's a game, helping Gemini to find it out. The fact that GPT-4 is also multimodal, but with different strengths and limitations. If you give GPT-4 a question such as this that has a prompt with some images, it can answer as well. But when given a question like this that includes some kind of encoded message, which is a far bigger ask for the AI, therefore, GPT fails or gives you the wrong answer, whereas Google Gemini can answer it according to the block. Because GPT-4 is primarily focused on text, but can integrate with other modalities through add-on features like Dell E3 Vision. Whereas Google Gemini, designed from the ground up to process and understand text, images, videos, and audio. To sum up the video, Google Gemini has the upper hand on GPT-4, but we don't know how it's going to perform because it's not yet available. The release date is next year, on some unspecified date. But what do you guys think? Will Google Gemini supersede the world of artificial intelligence, or will OpenAI come up with a better AI model? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. And that was it for today, guys. 
I hope you have learned something from this video. If so, subscribe to the channel and on top of that, smash the like button. With all that being said, I'm going to meet each and every single one of you down in the comment section below. Take care.